Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Shut In, an adventure horror game where you're a shut in as you go for your days of isolation, hopefully not dying in the process. Hello. Welcome to the game. If you can call it that. I like how there's crashing noises. That's a hell of a, like a, a text noise. Here's where I should probably make introductions. Explain how things work. You know how it is. I just imagine someone on a typewriter, but they're not just hitting the keys, they are smashing a hammer down on those keys. But you seem smart. I'm sure you can figure it out for yourself. Hmm, but maybe not. For keyboards, use the arrow keys to move. To confirm interactive objects, press space with Z. You cancel open the menu and it's escape or Z, X, whatever. <laughs> if you want to use your current item, try shift. Using a pad, try to control to stick to move. To confirm and direct objects, press A. To open the menu, it's Y. To cancel, it's B. Just like a Super Nintendo controller. If you want to use your current item, try X. You can also rudely skip through dialogue by holding page down on the keyboard. Nice. Oh, and you can toggle the screen between windowed and full screen mode by pressing F4. Honestly. That was pretty exhausting, I know. You better have remembered all that. I'm not telling you again. Anyway. It's XXXX o'clock. Get out of bed. Oh boy. Getting out of bed. Come on then. It's time to get up. No. Or not. You could always stay in bed, I suppose. If that's what you really want. So what it'll be? Snooze. Okay. Well, if you can change your mind, just press space ready to get started. Surely you can't stay in bed forever. We'll see about that game. I'll see you in five hours. Hey, what? Oh dear. The shelf collapsed, and all that heavy wood crushed your spine completely. It always was a bit wobbly. You probably should have fixed it by now. You probably should have got out of bed by now, too. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. Is this some kind of propaganda against sleeping in? Yay. Hint. Get out of bed. Save me. Try again. I give up? Okay. I want to save. All the sound effects are funny. Like, for saving, it's like a gun-loading sound effect. Try again. Get up. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? It was terrible. By the way, you might want to get changed. Put some proper clothes on, maybe a pair of shoes, something a little bit less... sweaty. Just head over to the wardrobe when you're ready. You have a busy day ahead. Right. Bed. There's a lump in the mattress. Is that wardrobe gonna fall and kill me again? Because... The desk, the drawer is jammed shut. Door, upper hallway. The bin is half filled with miscellaneous rubbish. Most looks like junk food, but you can't quite see all the way to the bottom. Somewhere deep down there, you know there's some kind of meme. Perhaps related to a certain YouTuber named Manly Ben Asiro and his soul. Rummage for the bin? Dive in! Congratulations. You found more rubbish. A manly soul. Would you like to take some with you? Yeah, sure. Really? Absolutely. Fine. Whatever you need. I'm sure it will come in handy eventually. Contain rubbish. Nice. Inventory. Some wrappers, tissues, old food, etc. You have absolutely no idea where you're holding this. There isn't anything useful in the computer. But you're trying to beat your high score in Battle Kittens 4 Super Force. Nice. Play some video games? Just one try. Damn, I suck. I can hear it from here. I can sense the suck. Nine hours later. You didn't beat your high score. The bomb door is empty. 
but the top one is jammed shut. Something inside must be blocking the mechanism. The sheets are getting pretty dirty. There's a weird smell and that big suspicious lump in the mattress makes it hard to get any sleep. It's still a mess so you must have some pride. Make the bed? Sure. Yeah, you can't be bothered. What's the point? This bulb's been broken for quite a while now. An alarm clock stuck on the wrong time. You've been meaning to fix him, but you can never seem to get around to it. Can I just leave without getting dressed? Yeah, we got some light. Nice. You're not actually planning to stay in your pajamas, are you? Stay comfy. Wow. Okay. But just so you know, you look like a complete mess. That's odd. The door is locked. You ever seen a key around here somewhere? If you look around, maybe you can dig it out. Once you're there, maybe you can rethink some of your fashion choices. Is it gonna be where like my outfits are? Forcing me to like change my outfits? The washing hamper is well over capacity, bulging slightly under its tremendous weight. Dirty clothes spill out everywhere from the top. The smell is not good. Give me my keys. I don't want to get changed. Give me my key without getting changed. I think I have to get my outfit changed. Your pajamas are comfortable, but not exactly practical. Get changed? Stay comfy. Not fine. You win today, game. Or tonight. Or to evening. Oh, that's better. Much more presentable. Your hair needs brushing, but you need a hairbrush. You should probably have a bite to eat, too. You look... Malnourished. Oh, and wash your face. And your breath stinks. The list is endless, really. You don't seem to take very good care of yourself. But congratulations on getting dressed, at least. Anyway, hurry up. You have a busy day ahead, and it's already getting late. Head outside and get some fresh air. That's all. The door is locked. We have a bed for several layers of dust, and here there's a small metal key. Not sure how I got there. Take the key. Take a small key. The door's still locked. Perhaps instead of just trying to open anyway, she should actually use that key you just found. You don't know how to use items, right? No. Fine. Let's go through it again, shall we? The keyboards use the arrow keys to move, confirm and interact. Shift. Hey, you just call me an idiot. There's no lock, the door is stuck. Keys will just magically open things, you know? You unlock the door. Eventually. Nice. Looks like no use for this key now. You should throw it away. Nah, I'm keeping it. Sentimental. There are two plug sockets on the wall. The lamp on the table is plugged into the left socket. There's a loud buzz coming from the lamp and the bulb is flickering a lot. The plug is falling to pieces. There's a slight gap where the fitting meets the wall. It looks like something is trapped inside, which is awkwardly behind the plug. But you can't reach it. Pull the plug. For a split second, you feel the searing heat of over 200 volts of electricity surging through your body. Luckily, before your head can really persist the pain, your heart stops completely. You're dead in seconds. You don't even have time to reflect on your questionable decision-making capabilities. What part of you thought that was a sensible idea? But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. This is just King's Quest? But in the real world. Hint, electricity is dangerous. Save me. Oh god! All of a sudden, the light bulb explodes. Countless shards of red hot glass shred your face. You're totally blinded and spend the next few hours bleeding to death in agony. There must have been a power surge or something. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. Yay. Okay. So, can we. 
switch it off. There's a small table with a lamp and a notepad. Something's written in the notepad, but it's too dark to read what it says. I think if we try to unplug it still, it's it's still gonna murder us. There's some old toys and pictures on the shelf. But you don't recognize any of the photographs. Who is this? Spooky. Turn on some light. Huh. Got a broken bulb up there. Surely nothing will kill us in the bathroom. God. The drain is completely blocked. The bathtub is thick of damp grime. Looks like it hasn't been used for an embarrassing number of days. The plug's missing, but there's still a shallow pool of black liquid at the bottom. And for some reason, there's a screwdriver wedged inside the shower head. You're no plumber, but you get the feeling that it's not supposed to be there. Remove the screwdriver? Sure. Obtain screwdriver. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like there's bugs coming out of the shower. Why is there bugs coming out of the shower? The tap is being thousands of giant black bugs. They gleam and arrive with a savage hunger. Probably the second most disgusting thing that's ever been in your bathtub. The taps aren't working. They're too stiff to move. Who knows if anything would come out of there anyway? It's fine. It's cool. The sensing of the toilet is overpowering, but unfamiliar. Some kind of rot. The toilet bowl is a lot deeper than it should be. It just goes on and on. There's something trapped further down, but it's hard to see for all the dark, murky liquid. Reach inside. What the? Before long, the room is completely filled with insects. They crawl all over you, inside and out. You're not sure what these things are, but they manage to strip your skeleton bare in minutes. It's pretty disgusting. But at least they seem to have enjoyed themselves. Oh, good for them. At least the bugs enjoyed themselves. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. You're dead. You are dead. 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 You are dead. 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 And there's a lot of bugs. Thought you were hot. It turns out you're not. Okay, so leave the screwdriver in there. Or at least have something to plug it with. Maybe the rubbish? Let's see what the toilet's doing. Dive in. What do we get? You reach in as far as you possibly can until the disgusting toilet fluid reaches past your shoulder. Your arm is just about long enough to grab hold of something. It feels like some sort of long plastic tube, but stuck tight. You know how much more of this you can take. It stinks so much you're starting to feel dizzy. Keep pulling anyway? Pull it hard. It's cool. It's cool. It's fine. Obtain plunger. You'll never get that smell out of your head. You might want to take a shower. Or three. Okay, we lived. Good. Something shattered the mirror. It's so cracked and filthy that you can't see your reflection. Oh, well, I suppose that might not be such a bad thing. I mean, let's be honest. You're not good looking. Thanks, internal voice. You always had my back. It's an old looking photograph. You don't remember where it's from, or what it's of. Is that a face? Okay. Hey. Oh. The handle is missing. And the hole is too small to try and open yourself. Looks like you're stuck here. Uh. Help? Use a plunger to the bathroom door. You firmly fix the plunger to the door and pull with all your might. But the lock's in place and the door won't budge. That or you just too pin to open the door properly. What about over here? Maybe the bugs can help me out. Use a punch in the bathtub? You stick the punch over the plug, gave it a few tugs. You feel something in the drain come loose. Obtain door handle. What? A tarnished mill door handle. It's battered, but seems intact. The screws are still attached. Nice. Use the door handle. Yes, use the door handle on the door. You put the handle back in its place, but it's still loose. You need to screw it in to open the door. Oh, crap. What have you been coming here for? Oh my god, here we go.
Use the screwdriver. Yes, get out of here. We are never going to the bathroom again. Well, that was a close call. Let's not go back in there again. It's dark. Lights are acting up again. So what we got? We got a plunger and a screwdriver out of that. Hmm. Can I use this lead screwdriver or they have a plunger to open this? Your bedroom. You feel safe here. I'm not sure if it was safe. We kind of died in the beginning. You blindly punch the screwdriver into a tiny gap and jiggle around until the mechanism springs loose. Looks like there was a USB cable stuck in it. Tin USB cable. Nice. The dwarves are empty. You really don't seem to own many things. Can I get a strategy guide and like beat that game? <laughs> Is that a thing? Staircase. The whole thing is in ruins. It's hard to tell, but it seems like the stairs have been somehow torn to pieces. The darkness is thick here. You can't see the bomb. Looking down here for too long makes you feel sick. You never know how it happened. You don't even know what's going on in the first place. Regardless, the front door is down there. You'll have to find a way down if you want to go outside. If only there was some way of measuring the distance. Still, a jump from this height shouldn't hurt too much. Take the plunge! Go for it! Yes! We're a winner! Huh. How strange. That was much bigger the fall than you remembered. So how far down does the staircase go? There's certainly a ground floor somewhere, though. <laughs> Your mangled corpse is smeared all over it. By the way, that wasn't a very impressive jump. Let's just pretend you slept, shall we? But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. Yay. Hint. Fearlessness can't cheat gravity. Joke's on you. Maybe the USB cord. Yes. You firmly tie one end of the cable to the banister and drop the other end down the hole. You're not sure if it will hold your weight, but it certainly seems sturdy enough. Yeah, it's not. A USB cable would not hold your weight, but whatever. It's a video game. Oh my god. How long is this USB cable? The max it was supposed to be is like 15 feet, isn't it? Man, this is really well made USB cable. I gotta get me one of these. It looks like a hallway. There are drawings all over the walls. Huh. Front door, but it's just a drawing. More door drawings. We had a very cheap contractor, I'll say. Couldn't afford doors. Looks like a door. But it's just a drawing. Is one of these going to open one of these days? Useless, useless. This is the light switch? Ah, oh, look, it works. That works. The view outside the window is suing today. Nothing. This is the front door? You can't quite remember. It's just a drawing and there's no way out. There's a thick crust of dark veins running down the wall. What is this stuff? Your head hurts. Okay, so we have two doors we can actually go into. I think. Let's see. Hmm. The television is on, but there's nowhere to sit. There are no walls. Only chains. Chains that bind us. Yeah, 
The armchair is suspended in the air by chains. You're not sure what the chains are hanging from. You can't see the ceiling, if there even is one. You give it a firm tug, but it doesn't budge. The television is hanging from thick chains, but it seems to be working just fine. It probably would, I mean. The stag thrown on the screen is giving you a headache. You feel like you're being watched. By Let's Player. Let's see what's on. Uh, hey, there's a- Well, you found a place to sit. Wherever it found you. <laughs> God. Your bones are pounded to dust on impact. Your death is quick, but it isn't pretty. Strange. You don't remember your couch being so heavy. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. Dead. Game over. Hint, seats for sitting and not standing under. Armchairs suspended air by chains. You're not sure what the chains are hanging from. You can't see the ceiling if you're reading this one. You get a firm tongue, but it doesn't budge. It's a large knife on the table. The sharpen is stuck deep in the wood. Remove it? Don't cut me. I like sharp things. Obtain knife. Oh, no, wait, what? Oh, run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Oh, well. After a series of mechanical shutters, you hear a scaring noise come from upstairs. Who knows what it could have been? Your head hurts. You're starting to feel sleepy. Okay. It's fine. After a second, Raffle is about to drop on us. Ooh. Close one. So something changed upstairs. We need to remember that. Turn my lights. Okay. Now don't betray me, kitchen. The bin is empty. Looks like it needs a serious cleaning, though, like your soul. Uh, the microwave is sealed shut. The buns don't move. In fact, the door isn't even real. This is basically just a big plastic box. The cupboard doors won't budge an inch. Something's barricading them shut from inside. It's boiling violently. There's a massive iron pot in the oven. It looks heavy. The pot is boiling violently. You can feel occasional tiny flecks of scalding hot water. You try to turn off the heat, but nothing seems to happen. Remove the lid? Seems ready. Got some noodles cooking in there. Oh, God. Your delicate fingers are no match for red-hot metal. The heat makes you drop the heavy lid immediately. An entire pot collapses straight onto you. The burns are so serious, you can't even get yourself up from the ground. Your agonizing death takes hours. And hours. And hours. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. Yay. Hint, that is one hot pot. And we mean literally hot. The cupboard is mostly bare, but there's a lighter right at the back. Ooh, yeah. Tin lighter. So line our load a little bit. There's nothing in the fringe, it's not even turned on. There's Lingui Center expired food. Do I have anything in my inventory that can be useful? The rubbish. Dang. The plunger! Hey, it worked! You firmly attach the plunger and remove the heavy lid. The pot is completely empty inside. It's not even wet. But there's a tiny gray button at the bottom. Push the button? Push it. What was that noise? Looks like it came from under the sink. You open the cupboard, but there's nothing inside. You can't even see the back of the cupboard. You don't know how deep it goes. It looks quite roomy in there. Climb inside? Seems cozy. There's a familiar smell coming from the oven. The freezer door is missing, there's a thick ice covering the inside. Also, there's a spatula in there, frozen solid. You couldn't possibly pull it out by hand, or can we? Oh. That's what the smell was. It was gas. You knew it was familiar. What a strange thing to have forgotten. You must feel very silly. It only took the tiniest spark to blow a whole room to smithereens. Needless to say, you didn't survive the blast. The only smell now is your crispy, obliterated carcass. 
Mmm, tasty. But don't worry, try again tomorrow. Love the smell of barbecue in the morning. Hint, you should get a new oven. Thanks, game. Okay, nothing inside here. You're not exactly a gourmet, are you? The oven door is completely stuck. You can't get it open with just your bare hands. There's an unpleasant smell coming from inside. It's recognizable, but you can't quite put your finger on it. It seems to be working just fine, though. Turn on the oven. Oh, 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 oh. Plunger. Try to use a plunger to get the oven door open, but it won't quite stick properly. Despite your best efforts, it just pops off. Screwdriver. Try best to stick the screwdriver in the oven, but you can't quite get enough leverage. The screwdriver is so big, you're mostly just scraping around the door frame. These elbow grease. No! I made sparks! It only took the tiny spark to blow a whole room to smithereens. You can say you didn't survive the blast. Mmm, tasty. Yay. Is there a new oven option? Can we go and just find ourselves a new oven in the game? Just replace it. <laughs> it's like, oh, here's a good new oven. I can replace the, the other oven in the uh, parallel dimension. Micro has definitely seen bad days, but seems perfectly functional. Yeah, don't turn that on. But it's empty. Looks like it needs a serious cleaning, though. Looks like a door. But it's just a drawing. So, we know the screwdriver doesn't, the pleasure doesn't do it, or the lighter will definitely not do it. The knife. No! It's not how open doors work. Look, just, just stop it, okay? How about the screwdriver? Could you either get the spatula out, then get the oven open with the spatula? The scraping shows away the ice until Venti managed to break most of it away. Change spatula. A large spatula made of stiff plastic, it's hardening and spongy sharp. Because it's it's plastic, it won't create a spark, see. With a bit of force, he managed to pry the stiff open of an open door open. There's a sudden and powerful stench of gas. The oven door is open, the gas is on full blast. It's all you can smell. You're feeling lightheaded. The oven stretches back into the darkness. It keeps going for a while. The oven looks just about big enough to fit in. Climb inside. Nice and warm. Do not turn on to me. You know, all this gas is making you very sleepy. You try to carry on, but you're feeling dizzy and sluggish. You probably shouldn't exert yourself too much. Have a quick rest? Snooze. Yeah, just a little rest. That's what you need. Well, that's the last nap you'll ever have. Hope it was worth it. Yeah, it was a gas. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. You're dead. Yay. Hint, that was a really good nap. I bet it was. Push on. You shake it off. You hear something moving around in the dark. Uh-oh. Nothing else in the cupboard. You're not exactly gourmet. Oh! It's locked up time. There are heavy chains blocking the fridge door. The tension I've ever by some sort of thick translucent bill. It looks like wax. Um, I'm gonna get my lighter out. Because something's coming. With a bit of patience, you melt through the thick wax, holding the chains in place until it can't take the weight of the metal. They fall away, unblocking the door. The darkness here feels strange, invasive, threatening. You can't see your hand in front of your face. You can even begin to guess what horrors could be lurking all around you. But something, somewhere, decide to quickly take advantage of the situation. They rip you to shreds in a frenzy. You feel them laughing as they scrape your bones clean. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. You're dead. Yay. Hint, hurry up. No more reading for me! Get to here.
No turning back now. Looks like hallway. Just drawing all over the walls. Okay, we're out. We're back to the main base and we got some items to show for it. Now we can go upstairs. Is there always an X on this door? Hmm. It's cool. Uh Looks like that lump in your mattress has gotten bigger. It's squirming around under the sheets. You should probably leave it alone. Touch it anyway. Smack it. Yee. You smacked the lump hard, but oh! Whatever the lump is, it's not very friendly. It tore your spine right off your throat. Must have been asleep. Before you rudely interrupted. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. You're dead. Whoops. Hint, that's not your bed anymore. The room is twisting an unfamiliar nightmare. The worst your copy before Balakin's Super Force has been replaced by its much hated sequel. I'll give it a shot. This game gonna be so bad it kills me. I hear dogs and cats. Nine hours later. It's even worse than you remember. Bulbs have been broken for quite a while now. Hey, you, uh, you want a spatula? Knife! Um, crap. That was... messy. But it looks like that lump isn't a problem anymore. Hey, it worked out. There's a knife sticking out of the lump in your bed. It does seem to be in the best of shape. Pull it out? It comes back to life. Although there was a lot of resistance. And all this thick black sludge. Can't have done the blade any favors. I want to check on your knife. A dull crude kitchen knife covered in a thick dark slime. Seems useless, but looking closer... How about you pull the plug now? It's not fused in the socket. Yeah, use a... Use a... No, use a spatula. Hey, it worked! You pry the plug socket away from the wall with one quick motion. It snaps off with a flash and a bang. It's a good thing you weren't touching it. The burning smell lingers in the air. Well, this doesn't cover that weird hallway smell. There's a toothbrush nestled inside. Wrapped in a cradle of stinky melted plastic. But it's completely clean. Yank it out. Tin toothbrush. Weird. What was that? Sounded like it came from the bathroom. You know you can't afford to keep this smell in your house like this, right? Use the light on the notepad? With the light from the flame, you can just about make out what's written on the notepad. But it's nothing useful. Just a phallic sketch. Your name is written underneath. Self-portrait, perhaps. Nice. Oh, and the number 57 is written in the corner. But you don't recognize the handwriting. 57 and 19. I think we got two numbers. Before we go there, let's go to the TV. Let's try 19. Did it work? Hey! Good. Oh, look. It's your front door key. Must have fallen from the sky. What did the front door key? Now, what's 57? Yes? There's something about that area. Looks 
like a door. It's just a drawing. The strange material seems thinner here, like it's coming from the walls. Use the key. Poke a wall with a tiny key, but it doesn't do anything. It's a drawing, not an actual door. You're basically just poking a wall. Rune knife. Lighter. The stuff on the wall doesn't seem flammable. Even if it was, you won't get much of this tiny flame. Toothbrush it. Take a very long time to scrub all this mess clean, and it would definitely ruin the brush. Plunger. Whatever this wall is made of, it doesn't stick to the plunger at all. It's rough and crusty. You scratch away at the wall, but the screwdriver isn't very big or sharp, and you only manage a few nicks. I guess you're going to need something more appropriate if you want to tear the wallpaper down. If this is even wallpaper. Spatula. Yeah, boy. Represent the spatula. Nice. Weird. Something smells delicious. The bin is empty. This guy needs a serious cleaning, though. Boy, is she... You just about to see a crumpled piece of paper through the oven door. Between the scrawled note. The oven is cold, dark, and empty. Remind you of anyone? Dang, don't do that to me, game. You don't do that to me. Let's grab a paper with a number lazily scrawled in black ink. Oh, one? Through the dim screen, there appears to be some kind of blue squirming mass. You can guess what it is. But it smells fantastic. The door's locked tight, but the power's on. The bun seems to be working fine. Turn on the microwave? Let's get cooking. How long we cook for? Oh, one. One minute? Didn't seem to do anything. If I need never know to know the exact time, so it'd be like one minute and such and such seconds. You can brute force that pretty easily, but let's let's see if we find number note first. Let's see something here. With the street toy, we might be able to scrape through the wall. You should be getting outside soon. Although it's already late. We've been up and about for a while now, and what a stressful day. It's a pretty flimsy spatula, come to think of it. You probably shouldn't bother. Give it a shot. Fine. But you're wasting your time. After a lot of work, you finally managed to scrape away the last of the strange wall material. Underneath is your front door. Look at it, makes your head hurt. After all that effort, you're quite exhausted. Maybe you should take a rest. Watch some television. Have a nice sit down. You can always head outside later. Yeah, they're just kind of hinting to me like, hey, there's more things you can find in the game. So I do have a key for the outside. But, um, I don't want to use it yet. The sculling of the insects on the other door side of the door seemed quieter now, you think. Can't hurt. Okay, I <laughs> thought it was a trap. The mirrors are broken, there's glass everywhere. A lot of these shards look lethally jagged. Just stepping over them is asking for trouble. These are wearing shoes. Or are we? Unlike the rest of the house, it seems to be in perfect working order. There isn't a scratch on it. You stare into the mirror and your gaunt, sickly face stares back. You barely recognize yourself these days. There are deep, dark creases all over your face. Sweat and dirt cling to every crack. It's a shameful sight, but it can't be much worse than what's underneath. But you may as well try, right? Wash your face? Scrub a dub dub. Uh oh. Clean or not, you're not great to look at. At least when it was covered in dirt, you had an excuse. Maybe you shouldn't have bothered. At least you washed your face. Congratulations, I guess. Can I use my toothbrush here? Your mouth is dry and fuzzy. Days of grime cover your teeth and tongue. You should really sort it out. Brush your teeth. Get freshen myself up. We gonna go outside? You do the best you can. Your mouth feels cleaner. 
On a closer inspection, the rot and decay are so severe it would take a lot more work to fix that mouth of yours. Better than nothing, I guess. Congratulations. Now, the small key. If there's such a thing as a locked sink, this isn't it. This key seems useless now. I should probably throw it away. Rubbish. Knife. Knife is completely ruined. The blade is far too dull and won't be in use. Why don't you think this is helpful? I mean, just look at... Trying to set a fire to a sink. Yeah. The sink isn't blocked. What do you think the plungers are for? I think we just need to do our hair, right? We just need our brush. Well, what happens if we do for the key away? Let me unlock here. Get rid of it. How strange. The moment you place the key in the bin, you lose sight of it completely. Sure, they can't have gone far. Can we get the key back? Hmm. Did the key, like, go downstairs? But underneath the rubbish is a small key. You're not sure how it got there. But it seems different somehow. You're probably just imagining things. Take the key? Take it. Me and my small key. We're buddies till the end. Use the small key in the bedroom door. Turn the key in the locked door and somehow it keeps turning. After a few more turns, there's a loud click. You unlock the unlocked door. Weird. Oh, we're in the chain dimension. That's fine. Well, these things link together. The quarter seems to stretch on forever. Go up. The quarter seems to stretch on forever. Hey. Looks like someone left a note on the floor. A scribbled note. 34. So, 0134. Uh, we need to get out of here. I think the void is enclosing on us. That is not good. Very bad. Not good. Who knows how long you spend wanting the corridor? Hours? Days? Weeks? Is even in a room anymore? Just a roomy coffin. Your death is slow. And worst of all, boring. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. Yay. Hint, you've gone too far. Not far enough. Head is pounding. So I used the key to get back. I, I guess it's a dead run no matter what. So I just used it as a door as soon as I spawned. That's why it like has like a little message like, oh, you got the uh, you got a note in your pocket. Hey, what's this? Oh, somebody left a hairbrush on the floor. It's not yours, at least you don't recognize it. Yoink. Teen hairbrush. You catch that reflection in the mirror. It's not a pretty sight. Your dense mess of hair is getting out of control. You can try to fix it, but you doubt it will do much good. Brush your hair? Why not?
Hey, look, my spiffy. Well, it's certainly a change. It's tidier now. At the very least. It's not a huge improvement, but I guess it's better than nothing. Congratulations. You brushed your hair. Shame about that face, so. Hey, we're looking good. We're looking good. It's all right. Good. Something squirming aside. Mmm, that smell is getting stronger. The substance behind the glass is pulsing and writhing violently in the heat. Your mouth won't stop watering. Warming up some of that blue goo. Some blue goo from Goosebumps. Delicious. We're gonna have to wait exactly a, a minute and 34 seconds, aren't we? Alright, game. We're waiting. The incredible aroma is making your head spin. Yep, still waiting. You can barely stand this hunger. You need to eat. Man, I barely ate today myself. I'm so busy. Now I'm hungry. I've like acknowledged my own hunger. Hurry up. Come on. Oh, thank you. What, what the? It's a hell of a microwave. Sounds like you're finished cooking. That was the longest one minute and 34 seconds of your life. The smell coming from the microwave is exquisite. Unlike anything you've ever experienced. You can't stop salivating. The lump has stopped moving. Mostly. Consume the mass. Eat. Eh, you got better. But at least you ate something. Whatever something means. Congratulations. Well now, would you look at that? Have you done well? You're clean, clothed, and fed. Ready to get some lovely fresh air. There's nothing stopping you now. No more excuses. It's time to head outside. You've already devoured the contents of the microwave like a fat, greedy pig. And now you want seconds? Control yourself. Okay, I wanted to see if you could use the microwave some more. We're done here. Use the front door key in the front door. Your heart is racing, you feel dizzy. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. You're trying to remember why you ever wanted to leave and frankly you can't think of a reason. You should stay inside. Stay inside. Good. Safe in here. Let's not rock the boat. Need to leave. You slide the key into the lock and turn it with a click. Your head hurts. The door is unlocked. You don't want to go outside. You want to stay here. Go. Well, the door is unlocked. Looks like it's time for some lovely fresh air. You know, it certainly is cozy in here. Why would you ever want to go outside anyway? Really? You still want to go outside? I need to get out. Look, you don't know what you're thinking. Clearly you're confused. It's been an awfully difficult day. You need to rest, you need to lie down. Don't go outside. Maybe try again tomorrow, when you're feeling better. Let me out, let me out. Wait. Please, just think about this. You can't leave. You're not ready to leave. You have nothing. You are nothing. There's nothing for you out there. This is your home. It's where you belong. Don't go outside. It's time to leave. Stop. You know what? You've done so well. You really made an effort. Had some food, put some clothes, clean yourself up. Today was a good day. You should be proud. You deserve something special. You deserve a good ending. Don't go outside. Head back upstairs and go back to bed. That's where the secret ending is. Ooh, secret. The real ending. The happy ending. Let me out. Oh god, it's hell. 
Should have stayed inside and been in need. Oh dear. That didn't go very well, did it? At least you tried. Not that it's worth anything. Can't say I didn't warn you. Maybe some things just aren't that simple. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. Hooray! Nothing happened! Nice. Well, that's it. That's the game. Hope it wasn't too disappointing. Let's see how you did, shall we? It took you an hour and 13.45 minutes to finish the game. You died a total of 14 times. You succumbed to 12 out of 13 possible threats. You found 15 out of 15 items. It took you far too long to figure out how doors work. You wasted 27 hours playing video games. You didn't even beat your high score. You unlocked the secret ending, but chose not to accept it. Well done for being so... stubborn? You didn't unlock the rocket launcher. You were lazy. It took you a long time to get this far. You can't have been trying very hard. You were reckless. You really don't think things through, do you? It's when you made it through this far at all. You were boring. You didn't really experiment much. You kept all your thinking firmly inside the box. It must not be much fun. Basically, you're a bad person. Everything you've done is pointless. But thanks for playing. Thank you, game. I appreciate it. It was nice talking to you. So go back and get the other ending. I guess the secret ending is just make yourself look nice. And thank you, the player. No more than effort. Let's get this secret ending. How exciting. Let's go back to bed. Hey, look, things look relatively normal. I guess. Room looks a little bigger than I last remember, but that's fine. Get a little expansion. Your bed. It's never looked so soft, so warm. You've earned a rest. Go to sleep. Let's end this. Nice. Nice, comfortable sleep. Who needs outside anyway, apparently? <laughs> Congratulations. You did it. You've won. You finally get some fresh air. Ah, how peaceful. No more fear. No more stress. No more pain. You're finally free. Well done. You've earned this rest. Don't think about tomorrow. Just enjoy the moment. Won't last forever. The End Well, that's it. That's the game. Hope it wasn't too disappointing. Let's say it did. Took an hour, blah da. Put down fits. With all the doors work, 27 hours video games. Well done to find a secret ending, most people wouldn't have bothered. I guess most people have better things to do. Manly looks at the screen. Stares straight at your soul. You didn't unlock the rocket launcher. You were lazy. Reckless. Boring. I wonder if there is a rocket launcher or not. Hmm. I guess there is no good ending. Maybe some things just aren't that simple. Thanks for playing.
Thank you, the player. So that's it for Shunnen. So in the end, I, I guess we're still a Shunnen. That's the message of the story. The game is inherently about a, you know, being a Shunnen, having depression, anxiety, all that stuff. And it's kind of represented in the game's kind of mini deaths. And it's a little bit of comedy as it kind of goes through it. Surprisingly well executed, actually. A bit of a, it's a, it's a morbid subject at its heart, okay? Just the concept of like its message and even its ending. But the, the comedy I lightens it up, makes it somewhat enjoyable. So you're not just going through it being very dreary. It's like a bit of that uh, like old adventure game feel where it's just like death around every corner. Everything mundane kills you. And then in the end, we get some good sleep and we're still a shut in, I guess. But an enjoyable, if not a bit of a sad, sad game. I feel like that sums up my commentary in this game pretty well. Anyway, so thank you all for watching Play Shut In. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.